so I'd like to show you some of the stuff I've been I've been working on in Afterplay over the last um, kind of week or two. So things are much improved from a UI perspective, I think, on the game screen. I'm redoing this screen too, but on the game screen now you can see um, that when you open a game, you see the the last save state as it loads, which is quite nice. And let me just turn down the volume. And you're you're right into the game. Um, you can use the analog sticks now in your controller, which is nice. And you also so it's now this kind of full screen UI. You can toggle touch controls, um, especially if you're on a, a touch screen device. You have full screen. Um, you have volume controls and you have your play pause you also have uh, so all the kind of menu items now are in this overlay kind of like in a i guess in a, in a console game and you can bring that up with the buttons or by pressing escape and all those hide then once your mouse is inactive for for three seconds i think so that's game boy advance let's take a look at super nintendo and it is similar if we open up earthbound um, again, same full screen experience, much improved. And I'm going to work on that flashing white screen so that it's it doesn't come in like that. Uh, streamed games again, uh, big improvements in terms of just how they're presented and um, the the loading. So. When you click on a game, uh, again you're shown the save state, and it's loaded directly in from launch. So sometimes with the old system you might get the old state for a while, or the starting state, but now it's it's loaded directly in. And uh, this is on a hotspot connection here, and performance is, is quite good. Um, hopefully I can get some faster machines soon, and then we can have even better performance. And you can see there's, you don't see any UI of, of any of the emulator running or anything like that. So I'm very happy with that. Let me show you some PlayStation. So I need to work on the PlayStation stuff. So this loading bar that you'll see here, PlayStation games take longer to, to load because they're, they're just larger files. But um, there's a step in here where I decompress the game and that's not taken into account when in the loading bar so so I need to do that but um, so that's the game being loaded and now it's now it's being decompressed so I need to add that to the to the loading screen but once it's up and running again it always just loads straight into to your old state which is nice and you're in Whereas before you could get a before the game was loaded, you might get a few seconds of of like the intro screen or, or something like that. You can see performance is quite good. Um, definitely playable for for a lot of RPG games and, and things like that. I've had some fun uh, playing around and reliving my my childhood in Tony Hawk. Um, and I'll be doing a lot of work on streaming performance soon. So yeah, that's kind of it, and you can go full screen and toggle controls just like everywhere else. Um, so yeah, that's the that's the update. I'll show you some Pokemon actually, some Pokemon White. I don't have the instant loading in here, uh, but I will be able to just load from the menu. So go to the menu, and I can load this state here. So I removed any kind of UI elements that that you used to see before and uh, I also removed on uh, the simulator there was like a bilinear filter uh, so I removed that and again performance is quite good uh, definitely playable for, for things like Pokemon and the um, the removal of the, the bilinear filter makes things much much clearer I prefer I prefer them unfiltered um, but maybe in the future I can add the option to, to add in different types of filters so thank you very much for watching and yeah, really looking forward to getting this out to you guys soon.